Hello everybody, this is Zips once again from Total Gaming Network and CS Nation, and here we are back in Killing Floor 2, and to continue with our look at the classes in Killing Floor 2, we're going to take a look at the Berserker. Now, I've not played as Berserker, this is the melee-oriented class, I know a lot of people probably love playing as Berserker, they just want to try a little something different, so this is probably the class for you. Uh, as you can read here, the Berserker uh, will rank up based on Berserker specific weapon damage or killing a Zed near a squad member. And the perk bonuses for this one are, and since I'm level zero, you're not going to really see much in the way of increases here, but these do seem to r rise up pretty dramatically by level. Melee damage, 25% plus 1% per level. Okay, so it's a base 25% so long as you're playing Berserker. So you already have a nice 25% melee damage increase over any other class here if you choose to play this Berserker. That's pretty cool. Uh, the attack speed, 5% base plus 0.8% per level. Movement speed increase, you get 10% increase as a base plus 0.6% per level. Uh, you have another bloat bile resistance here on the Berserker, 25% base. Uh, I guess that doesn't increase based on level. That's interesting. Neither does damage resistance at 5% and siren resistance at 25%. Very interesting there. Uh, starting loadout here, you have the Crowval Survival Tool, which is kind of like an all-in-one tool. It's got a crowbar, a shovel, I don't know, maybe there's something else on there too. I'm not really 100% sure. It's kind of a multi-tool type of deal. It's a good melee weapon, especially if you find it in the environment, of which there seems to be quite a few of them. But uh, that's, a, that's a thing for another day there. And you start off with the lawn, with a lawnmower blade. Hmm, interesting. Might have to try Berserker sometime. I might do that, uh, probably... Yeah, I might just actually try that in this video, so you can take a little look-see, and I can take a little look-see. Uh, you also have an EMP grenade, which I'm going to assume... Oh, if I were to take a guess, it causes damage and stuns, but I don't want to say 100% sure on that one or not. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at the skills here, just read through them, and then I'm actually going to play as a Berserker real quick, just to see what it looks like. So, for level 5, you have a choice of bulk ammo. You're big and tough, so use it. Your Berserker ranged weapons start with 20% more rounds. That's pretty cool. Or night vision. Flashlights are old hat. Upgrade to a glowing green view of the world with night vision capability. Hmm. Level 10 is a survival level. You have either Frenzy... Well, they call you Berserker. Your melee damage increases for every 15% of your health lost. Okay, that makes sense. Fake out. Duck and dive, pal. Cannot be grabbed by clots. See, that would be very useful to have, because I was grabbed a couple times in the, the gameplay video that I released. At least one of the gameplay videos I released. Uh, that can be a little annoying when you get grabbed, let me tell you. Level 15, you have a choice of Furious Defender. When the going gets tough, for every 50% of your health lost, your chance to stumble specimens increases 5% to a maximum of 25%. Or, formidable, the tough hit back. Your melee attacks reduce specimen attack damage by 15%. Okay. Level 20 is the power level. You can either take cover, know when to duck. When your health drops below 20%, your movement speed increases by 15%. Or, intimidate. Wade in. 10% of light attacks inflict double damage, and all hard attacks have a 15% increased knockdown chance. Finally, level 25, which I assume is the max level, you have Zedtai Menace. Plus 30% attack speed with Berserker melee weapons, plus 15% chance to stun with melee weapons, plus 25% resistance to Siren Screams, and Bloat Bile for all nearby squad members. Or you have the attack strength for Zedtai. Plus 20% weapon damage, plus 10% max health, melee alternate fire attacks massively push enemies back. Those all sound like great skills there. Again, I don't know how many of these are going to be adjusted for the final release or what. Um, we could just uh, let's take, let's take a little look-see right now. We're going to play solo offline. We'll choose a Berserker. Uh, we'll go to the Outpost map. Sure, because I'm not going to be playing for too long. I just want to show this off for you real quick here, what the Berserker looks like. Uh, the Medic, I play, in it. I play as Medic all the time, so if you want to see the Medic in, in that other video, uh, just check out any of the, the long 
long-form uh, gameplay videos that I probably have out by now. There was a 25-minute one that had no audio, no gameplay audio. I'm going to have other videos or take a look at you know the map we're going to right now and Biotics Lab. So there's going to be plenty of medic stuff, but uh, just you know for fans of other classes such as this one, I uh, I wanted to show that off to you. I'm just going to ready up real quick. I'll show off the uh, gear and character customization stuff. Oh, I should probably... I forgot to change my class, so expect a... Oh, nope. I uh, I am Berserker, so that works out real well. I was going to say expect a jump cut, but we don't have to worry about that. So you got, you know, right mouse button looks like a heavy attack. Left is a quick attack. You got a little shove with the middle click. Let's see how this uh, this works out here. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That's good stuff. Alright, so what do we got here? Lawnmower blade, huh? Okay, yep, and there's the regular pistol. Uh, anything else? Let me try to get into the light here so we can see a little bit of this. Let's go outside. Oh, hi. Hi, big guy. Excuse me, good sir. Oh. I did get grabbed there, so you saw the mechanic again if you missed it, happened to miss it before. Just a little slicing and dicing. Again, I don't have this leveled up, so it's probably it probably doesn't look as good as uh let's throw a grenade. See what that does. Oh yeah, that's a nice little EMP shockwave there. Took them out, stunned the other ones nearby. Alright, so that's pretty cool. I don't really think you need to see too much more of the uh, Berserker class. Mainly because I don't wanna don't wanna play too much in a class I don't really have leveled up and it kinda it kinda ruins the experience because I'm not playing to the best of uh the class's abilities because it's not a class I normally play. But this has been a look at the Berserker class for Killing Floor 2. As always, this has been Zips for Total Gaming Network and CS Nation. Thank you all for watching and come back to check out Commando Support. And if you haven't watched it yet, check out the medic video and uh I will catch you next time. See ya.